Hello, welcome to the Hourglass. We're back after our break. Whew. I had so much fun. <laughs> Slept a lot. It was great. Anyway, we're back. We're back. As always, I'm your host, Logan. And I'm here with the wonderful Jody McCurney Russia. And seeing as I'm your host, that means you, get, you can send in all of your questions, comments, jokes, concerns, telling Jody she's wrong. <laughs> you know, all that, all the fun stuff. We do run on jokes here, folks. So remember, send in all of your wonderful jokes. Do we have a theme today, Jody? Nope. How we about chickens? Oh, OK. We, ha we have some, a couple of adorable little glass chickens to demonstrate our episode today, which is tiny glass, tiny stands, not just glass. You can display anything you want. It's magic. All right. Fine. All right. Can I get a <laughs> countdown? Three, two, one. Flip! Woo! Yay! Awesome. All right, so tiny stands. Tiny stands. Tiny, why tiny stands? Well, I'll tell you why. Because not every masterpiece has to be giant. And I know a lot of our friends, a lot of our makers have tiny kilns. And I actually like to make tiny things too. <laughs> but stands are one of those things that are not quite as much fun to make. So we made for you a fantastic kit that is like a million stands. Not really a million. It's 36 stands though. Which is a lot. Which is a lot. You can make so many things. Here, can you we get can. a quick... And you can see our... We have three different types of stands in here. Can we get a nice little... 12 of each. These, these. Look, we have the little blue ones. Are they all blue or are they multicolored? No, they are all blue. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And those this are eco resin, color. right? Yes, we covered eco resin in some other stuff, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. We have these tiny little wooden chunks. Those also. are maple, reclaimed maple, so hardwood. Ooh. Those are a nice hardwood. Nifty, nifty. And then some chunks of wood. Some rustic. Ooh wood slices, rustic tree slices is what we're calling rustic these. Rustic slices. <laughs> yep. And Amazing. then, what and else? Then we have three drill bits, which awesome. They're tiny drill bits, so you can drill some tiny holes. And then uh, 10 feet of 18 gauge wire. Right, nichrome. Mm -hmm. We also have nichrome in some of our other kits, which you can get at mondomarketv.com, as well as this one, which is on sale, I believe. It's Oh, at a lowered price because it's our, let's see, launch price. That's the fancy word for it. We're on launch price, folks. <laughs> All right. So we ready to... Let's get started. Okay. So stands are super awesome. This is what you display your artwork on, right? And it's nice to have something that's a little, that looks handmade, that... Uh, Talks. It has a little bit of different styles. So we have three different styles of stands for you. Awesome. Um, and I'll show those to you very quickly. We have an eco resin, we have a reclaimed maple, and then we have a rustic wood slice. Now, I can't show you how to use a stand unless I show you have you some artwork. <laughs> so, so we're including in our demo today, just making a couple of very adorable, quick, these are beginner level, um, artworks, so there are no tricky curves or anything like that to cut, um, but the pattern does come with your kit, and we'll show you how to make some flowers and some birds and some stars, and then we'll show you how to put them on all these different stands, because the stand is what we're making for you today. We want you to be able to use these stands to, for your own artwork, and we do have a variety of different kinds of artworks for you to look at over here with Ooh. all different kinds of things. Look at all those tiny chickens. Right. I just, I love the tiny chickens. They are so super adorable. cute. So let's, let's um, start with, should we start with the little, uh, with a chicken? I'm not sure they're chickens, but the little birds, they're very cute. So yes. we'll make a quick bird, and then I'll show you how to put these guys on stands and we'll talk about well let me talk yeah but let's do that and then we'll tell I'll tell you all the cool things you can do with these stands um, so here's your pattern this is the pattern that comes with your kit and it has um, a couple of things so over here on the right 
Yes, I did fail my first driving test. I don't want to hear about it. Uh, over here on the right, this is what the bird will look like after he's all glued together. But over here on the left, these are all of the pieces that you need to cut out. And we're just using clear um, float glass. It's uh, just a double strength float glass, a couple millimeters, three, I think and some nichrome wire. Now, we have 10 feet of nichrome wire in your kit, and that is enough to make, um, I made 36 different tiny pieces of artwork with that one roll of wire. So that should be, wow, that I know, is that is artwork. a lot of little things. <laughs> so that should be enough to make, um, to do all of your stance, right? So you have like the whole package here. So um, I, whenever, whenever I have a pattern like this, I think it's easiest to just um, put the pattern right on the, or put the glass right over the pattern and trace it right through rather than like cut the pattern out or something like that. I think this is a, a quick and easy way to do this. And this is a pretty forgiving pattern for all of the tiny little pieces that it looks like it has. It's um, just little chunks of chicken. It's little, just little triangles, and triangles are easy to cut, right? In fact, we'll just cut that little triangle out of a scrap. Chicken chunks. Chicken. <laughs> right. Chicken so, um, when you um, when you're using nichrome wire, when you're fusing nichrome wire in, it does have to be capped, of course, because it needs to be between the layers so that um, it has something to hold on to. So we, um, that's why we like to make patterns with multiple pieces and so that we can stack those guys up a little bit and give it the wire something to hold on to. Right. And keep in mind, this is the perfect thing for tiny kilns. So, and by tiny kilns, I'm talking, I'm aiming here for a six inch square kiln. So we're talking the tiny kilns. The itty The bitty. itty bitties, right? We like those guys. And I have two of those little kilns myself. So it is fun to try some of these little these little projects in my tiny kiln. Especially if I have something big happening in my big kiln and I'm missing making something. So then it's the perfect time to make something small. And you are of course always welcome to modify the patterns so that it will fit your needs better. That's what I do with recipes. Yes, it's exactly what we all do with recipes, right? And then we end up with some <laughs> or we end up with banana bread, bread pancakes. <laughs> which Just, sounds better than it was. Right, which does um, sound better than it was. It looked like a slug. Either way. <laughs> Hi, Jody. It's so great to see you and Logan live. Hi, Karen. Hey, Karen. I'm glad you were able to make it. Karen usually works during our episodes and doesn't ever get to see us wow. doing our thing. Okay, so here we have our, our triangles cut now. And we start with, we start with that one. And it, that's the first one, right? And it goes here. Awesome. And then, so, but then that's where we add the wire, right? So we got our, we got our first layer there. We add our wire. And keep in mind, so this is what's connecting your artwork to your stand. So really, it, does, it can be as long or as short as you like. You can always trim it later if you're not sure, if you don't wanna like commit right this second. It can, you can always change it later. I have some white school glue here. Awesome. Jan says, greetings, happy new year, happy new year. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Okay. And then we add our wire. Okay, and then we have, we have tail, and that's our long skinny triangle right here. And sometimes you have to put that glue way up on the corner there so it will, okay. So there's our tail. And then we have the long skinny triangle that is the head. 
Oh, I just put the glue on the wrong side because I was not thinking. <laughs> you can always wipe it off and start over. Okay, the then the beak actually goes underneath here, right? Okay. Ta-da, so this is where he is so far. And then with the last triangle, the last triangle is his wing. And this, so I like to sort of just fiddle with the, the shapes there and stack them up. It's kind of an origami little guy, right? It's a little origami bird there. And then you can full fuse him and uh, that instructions, the firing schedule is also in your kit. Which and is pretty diddly dang nifty. <laughs> and this here is what he looks like after he's fused. So you'll see because it's a single layer of glass, the glass draws up and becomes quite rounded. So, so he's a round little thing. He's a little round bird. So what you can also do is add, um, you can add some paint if you like. We just painted some of these using any kind of glass paint that's compatible with whatever kind of glass you're using. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you can flip him over so you, you can see our birds face both directions. We have some of each direction there. Okay, so now that we have the artwork, <laughs> let's make a stand. All the millions and billions of artwork. Right? <laughs> We're gonna make a stand, man. Okay, so what we have here also in your kit are uh, very tiny drill bits, and these are sized um, to help to fit your 18 gauge wire. They are going to be a little bit bigger than the wire, um, which is okay, because then you can put some glue in there. If it were exactly the same size, then it's, it's hard to put the glue in. Mm. And we're using a flex shaft, but you can also use a drill press. Or you can use a handheld drill if that works better for you also. These are actual drill bits, so they you do have to have like a adjustable chuck. It's not just a, a rotary tool kind of thing. Okay. So we have our drill bit. So I'm gonna we're we're gonna do all of the our stands here. Ooh, okay. That's a lot of stands. Oh, no, it's three kinds. We're going to do three kinds. Yeah, okay. There are 36 different uh, stand chunks included in your kit. 12 of them. There are. 12 of the reclaimed wood. Well, they're, and so they're both. Plastic. Right. They're both reclaimed, technically. But yes, so reclaimed means that that used to be something else. It used to be a piece of furniture. <laughs> it was a futon. It was a futon that had lived its life. And rather than throwing it out, which. I cannot throw out anything because I'm contractually obligated, obligated to, obligated? Um, uh, yeah, that too, <laughs> <laughs> to save everything. Okay, so one of the things you have to think about when you're using tiny stands is making sure that your artwork doesn't um, outweigh your stand or tip over with your stand. And I'll show you an example of that. So here we have a star. Right, but you can sort of get an idea comparing these things that that stand is going to be a little small for this star, right? Um, so you kind of need to keep an idea, and there's not a rule. It's more, I think, of just a, a hard and fast, or like a guesstimating. But so you can see, this star is probably much more suited to that stand size. So if you it is adorable. So if you're, you're using tiny stands, they're really geared towards a smaller um, type of artwork. So we have maple, which is a hardwood. So, and they are, they're lightly finished. They are sanded, um, you can see, but they, if you want them, you can paint them, you can stain them, you can do whatever you want to them, or you can do nothing to them. <laughs> that works too. And our rustic wood slices are literally slices of wood. So they do, they have all their natural imperfections and beauty and whatnot. <laughs> um, and then eco resin is, it's a type of, it's not quite a plexiglass and it's not quite a plastic, but it's made with 80, I think 80% recycled material. And I believe, excuse me, I believe that they recycle styrofoam to make this, but I'm not 100% sure, but it is recycled. So, all right, um, when we're doing this, we of course drill straight down. Um, and uh, you can do a number of cool things here. I think
things to think about. So I've just drilled two little holes there in my rustic wood stand. And I'm going to dip my little bird wire here. <laughs> bird wire sounds right. interesting. And this is, again, the white school glue. You can use wood glue for this. Now keep in mind, it is a wood stand. So it, you do need to use a, a glue that is compatible with wood products, which means like your um, cyanoacrylate glues are not gonna be quite as good. Kathy says, what gauge nichrome? It is 18 gauge, you have 10 feet of it, so you can do a million little chickens if you want. <laughs> If you so desire, yes, the it is are just 18 gauge. So, so the reason for in, and you can see now we have two little chickens on the same stand. Right, uh, where's a good place to put him? Maybe right here. Okay, so we have two little birds there. Um, you can do just one. Um, the reason we do 18 gauge is it is a really good gauge. It's sort of a middle of the road gauge in terms of heavy weight versus lighter weight. But, and so it's not too thick, like it, it won't overwhelm your glass. It's thin enough that you can adjust it and bend it if you want to. So if you wanted your, um, you know, if you want your, your bird to, to be doing crazy things, he could be doing crazy things. <laughs> Um, uh, have them doing a little bird dance. A little bird dance. And it also um, is thin enough that you can thread uh, glass beads on it if you like. So if you wanted to add like a beaded leg to your, <laughs> to your bird or a beaded stem to some of your, your other things, oh, this is you can do that too. Uh, now, the eco resin is thinner because it's only, I mean, you can see, it's quite a bit thinner. In, in terms of weight, though, it weighs about the same as the maple. So it's a good... Um, Middle ground? Well, it's a it's good, a low profile, and it's, um, because it's wider and fl it's really stable. Ooh. So if it's you want to... It's also very pretty. I love that color of blue. It is really, and it, they are all different, too. So, right, so it's um, got kind of different... You can see, let's see if we can show a different some of the patterns so they Different all slice right Ooh. they all come Look from the same and of course it's my color right <laughs> matches my sweater nice little bit of uh, right uh, I have a type <laughs> <laughs> right so they all come from the same um, like sheet of eco resin but it's one that has varied patterns in it so mm -hmm. you'll you'll see they match they can go together. All right. Jan um, says, uh, Jody, if I'm going to paint the pieces, would I do it on the inside so the paint shows through on both sides? Oh, the eco resin or the oh no the oh the, sorry the chickens no you know what we just we glued them together like this and then we painted them when we did ours and then when we fired them um, we just painted the top side so you can see the paint is on the front. Um, but what I like about that is it, you do still see it through both sides, but it gives it a lot of dimensionality on the front. Do you see how, I mean, you can see his little neck and his little wing and things, so. But you could, you could actually, if you wanted to paint the whole sheet of glass before you start cutting the triangles. Um, that would require concentration and preparation. <laughs> Two things which sometimes are hard to come by. <laughs> so, okay, we're doing the eco resin here. So Woo! this, um, you have to be fairly rapid with your drilling because if you wait too long or if you go too slowly, it will melt. It's very heat sensitive. And then your drill bit gets stuck, which is not the end of the world. It just means that it's a little gooey. So, little and then the other thing is you need to be careful because it is thinner, so you don't want to, to drill right all through the table. right through the table, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, did you get it stuck? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, folks, this is what happens. <laughs> this is what happens. This is why we say, this is do why as we I say. Of them too. Do as I say. There we go. Just got it moving again. Right, and we include twelve of them. So if you do right. accidentally mess it up, so which, which, whatever we all do. Well, yes, and that's another good point. This is a good place to start yeah, if you're not sure, because this gives you a chance to do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and so you can see the little melted bits. It gives you a chance to do a lot of different things. And like, so if you, if you drill in the wrong place, you can you just flip it over and drill in the other side right. because they almost always have two sides, right? Okay, so this particular one, um, you would probably be able to, if you wanted to, use like a more of a, um, a plastics glue or a mosaic glue or something like that because it is plastic. Um, the wood pieces, you want to use a wood glue with those. So, just as a, okay. Now you see I trimmed that guy off. So you can make him a tiny So you can make him chicken. a tiny one and, and I, I told you I'm a hoarder. Mm -hmm. I'm a craft, a craft a materials supply. accumulation <laughs> expert. I save those little pieces because um, you can use them in the leaves to do leaf stems or whatever else. So oh, we haven't even covered the leaves. No, yet. we have not. So we can Look we can, we'll that, be folks. using them. The leaves are hysterical. Later. So you can make little Okay, whoa. See, yeah. see that's the that's the one I drilled all the way through. <laughs> so we're going to let that glue set up. Now, what do you do if you drill all the way through like that? Well, you can glue obviously. But oh, look at how cute those you are. could also put little rubber feet and just strategically position Them the rubber so feet, you don't right? Have, like a leg poking through. So you don't have a leg poking through. Um, all right, let's. Okay, so I think we did one of everything there. Okay, so if you drill in the wrong spot, we can just flip it over, right? Should we drill? Should we flip it over? Do you believe Woo! me? Woo! Let's be the let's, edgy kids. Let's be the edgy kids and drill in the wrong place. <gasps> Scandal. Clear over here. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Okay. So, but we can always, <laughs> now you see, see, you can just flip it over wow. and drill somewhere else, wherever you want. So if you, you don't want. like where you drilled before, you can just right. drill a new hole. Wherever you drilled before. And your kit has three drill bits in it because um, they're thin. And sometimes stuff happens, right? Or you break one or you lose one or it rolls off the back of your workbench by the wall, never ever to be seen again. I remember when you snapped so, them in half life. It was great. Yeah, see that happens. So it happens all the time. You and it was have a glorious explosion three. of sharp, angry, warm drill bit. <laughs> I don't remember it being that dramatic, but it okay. was so dramatic. It was, there was so blood dramatic. And tears <laughs> pouring. <laughs> You're making it up. No. All right. So your kit has three, three drill bits in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our fancy schmancy kit. Right. Which I will draw your attention to right awesome. over here. Look at how amazing and wonderful. <laughs> we have. 12 of these little blue eco resin of varying patterns and fanciness, which are very fancy. <laughs> oh, and I, I guess, I, 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 give me a minute, shush, okay, sit over there <laughs> with your glass chunks. <laughs> we have, give me a minute, we have 12 of these wonderful blue eco resin of varying patterns, 12 of these reclaimed maple futon chunks, which are not futon anymore, and so you can, double-sided fancy schmanchiness. And then we have 12, um, those rustic wood slices. Rustic wood slices. <laughs> Tasty and delicious, like chips. And then we have three drill bits and 10 feet of um, 18 gauge nichrome wire, which you can make chickens of what, and flowers and leaves, all of which the patterns are included and we will cover in just a second as well as firing schedules for various um, kilns, types of glass, you know, well, it's, this is different it's types of recycled glass. glass. Yeah. yeah. Indeed. Amazing. And I forgot to mention, I don't know if it matters to anybody, but I made all these stands myself for you. So it was great. I cut all of them and sanded all of them Woo. and did all the thing. Jody did all of this so, work just for you. Yay. And we've included, I've included a pattern, but what I'd like for that to be is just to get you started, right? Is somewhere for you to dive in and go, okay, um, I can do this. I can I can make a whole flock of artwork. Now, <laughs> alternatively, if flock you do, art. if you do um, shows or boutiques or something, these little things are so cute. Like crazy. I mean, like these little birds right here, oh, right? So funny. So you can definitely, if you just need a high volume something to get you started, 
this, do that? This might be your thing for sure. For sure. Okay. So I have two comments. Okay. I, need a, I need a noisemaker so I can no. like just yes. okay. ding a ling a ding. So <laughs> Okay. I'm going to start doing that. No. So, Bonnie <laughs> says, what a great new twist to Mountain Glass. Would love more. It's snazzy. It's I think snazzy. it's, I, I like Hopper. these a lot. I think these are great. I did a lot of these kind of um, stands for Christmas shows last month and did just, they were very popular. It, they did mm -hmm. very well. And I thought, well, why don't we Ooh, I share? Bet, bet our people will love this. Right? Karen says, Jody, is it possible to glue and stack the eco resin together? It is. And you would just want to use um, a plastic glue. Um, and it, you actually, it has some options there. You can stack them this way or you can stack them on end. Um, and you also, and I think we covered this in a different, a different uh, thing. Thing, but you can um, bend them. If you need to shape them, you can just heat them until they're a little bit soft, and then wear um, heavy gloves, of course, and you can bend them into shapes if you so desired, which is always awesome. It's actually pretty fun to bend them. They get <laughs> kind of rubbery and... <laughs> right? <laughs> they don't make that sound, but it's... They could if you tried. They could. <laughs> they could if you tried. Okay, so can I... Am I, am I allowed to talk some more now? Are we ready for me to talk some more? Yes, I suppose. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Woo! Right? Don't fling it Sorry. towards me. You so, have a trash can. Oh, I do. <laughs> 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 I forgot I had a trash can. All right, let's look at some. Uh, let's look at some flowers. Yay, flowers. And we're using the same piece of glass that we used for the. And these, of course, are very basic projects. Um, super easy, no tricky cuts, and we like that, especially if we. You know what I find is if it's been a while since I've been in, like over the holidays. I kind of have to get back into the, the studio groove. The flow of things. The flow of things. And so one way to do that is to do um, a pretty easy project with a really high return on investment, right? So if you, you can do this, these little whole like pile of little flowers and things, and, and they really are. They're quite adorable. They are quite adorable, and we were very excited to. Right. to see them come out of the kiln. We painted them all and they're all hysterical. Like some of them look like little Dr. Seuss flowers or little, I tried to do realism on one of them and it, it turned it out It turned fine. out, it looks great. We'll put it in a stand here in just a second. All right. Then there's one with this little twirly spiral, which is pretty snazzy. Ooh, oh, 10 million uh, tiny petals. Right, I wasn't actually counting how many I have. One, two, three. <laughs> it's going to be a very uh, petally flower. Right. No, we need eight, so that's eight. Oh, Kay. wow, look at you go. And I like to do them like this rather than, um, so this is just one of those tricks that. Oh, so you just like slice it straight down that edge and uh -huh. then chunk, chunk, chunk. Yep. Huh. And then you don't have to, you don't end up cutting out quite so many pieces um, individually. Which Ooh. that's actually going to be a little bit of a tricky cut. Okay. Slicey dicey do. And then we have this is the center of the flower, and you can see on your pattern you have it shows the layout just like with the bird, mm -hmm. and then it also shows you the shapes of the um, pieces that you need to cut out. Okay. These are also, um, I think, would be really fun for jewelry, for people who do, oh right? Who <laughs> those do? Would be hysterical. I think those little birds would be fantastic for pendants. Yes. And you would just um, flip that wire around and make a loop on the top of the bird instead of the bottom of the bird, the stand. And then instead of mounting it on the stand, I'll show you how to make a display stand for a pendant mm. to use one of your stands because you don't just have to use these stands for artwork. You can also use them for Whatever um, you shows want. or, you know, and we, I have so many ideas. Okay. <laughs> <This is> <laughs> <laughs> I have ideas. 
This All is right. my sleep is not a common thing. No, sleep is completely overrated. All right, so I, then. I, I don't think it is, though. I, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us, folks, do you think <laughs> sleep is over or underrated? <laughs> Send us <it down. laughs> Okay. So this is um, a piece of green bottle glass Ooh, that pretty. we have, um, right, that we have unrolled into a sheet. Slithered it on open. <laughs> well, <laughs> less slithering. But. Less slithering and plenty of opening. <laughs> All right. Although if you're not careful, you'll end up having snakes on a, a next show. I like snakes. I know, I'd have to think of how to make a glass snake. Oh great, now you've got like... Right. I think, if, to make a snake, would it be a stagnant snake or a slithery snake? I would make a slithery snake, of course. So it would be... Stagnant snakes would be silly. All right, so when you're doing this, save these little triangles. Ooh. And we use those to add texture to the leaves. Tiny texture triangles. Tiny texture triangles. We do this a lot at home. <laughs> yes, we do. Drives my husband crazy. <laughs> Okay, now do you remember the little pieces that we cut off from the last thing that I set aside somewhere? Um, um, this? Is this is what you want? No, I, the wire one. Oh, I put it over here. Okay. Do you remember the little piece of wire that I cut off the oh, bird? Oh, yes. Are. The so now we're going to use those. Looks like pencil lid. It does look like it's sort of the same size as pencil lid, too. Right, oh, no. Nice. These are super basic like when you when I add this I always do um, I put a drop of glue where the wire goes and then I put a drop on the opposite corner and I call that a holding dot if it needs if you need to give it a name because it holds that corner Ooh. and then fancy schmancy you add these triangles on top now Here's another option for your stand kit. If you teach or if you do demos at your gallery or you're doing um, any sort of, well, they're not quite take and make because they have to be fused, but if you're doing a demo or if you're doing a, um, any sort of open house that people wanna do a project, this is a project that you can cut the pieces ahead of time and just let people do the painting part of it oh, and then come cool. pick up their project, right? Or if you're doing demos, you have all of these little tiny stands that you can put your demos on. And you see over here I have like, um, this is a, <laughs> this is a, right there. This is a project from one of our previous shows. Oh yeah, this is right? a little dog. It's one of our that. little dogs from a previous show. One of and the adorable little dogs. So there is an example of like, we're rolling some ideas from one show to the next. Right, you could do like But whatever. So you oh, can look, do. Oh, there's a tree too. Yep, you can hey, do a little tree. tree. The, was that from the Christmas show? Um, I think we, I can't remember. We did a different We did a tree. different tree, but it was very similar. Right, it's very yeah. adorable. Okay, so here's our leaves. This is what they look like before we fuse them. Before you cook them to a nice crisp. This is what they look like after. Ooh. Right, so we have a little texture. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Not a ton, but a little bit of texture. So they look a little more leafy. Yep, a little more leafy. Okay. So <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> I'll just leaf this over here and come back to it later. <laughs> okay, and before you all leaf because of our terrible <laughs> Let's talk about our kit real fast. Okay. So if you like these leaves and if you are an absolute beginner like me, myself, and I, you can get these wonderful little stands as well as the... Um, pattern for those leaves and I think those leaves are hysterical so you can make like you can make all of these things you can make all the flowers and chickens and stuff and you have like you're right on your way to making 
to turning into a master glassologist. Glassologist isn't a word. It is now. Sure. <laughs> um, master glassologist. So you can use all of these fun little kits, and, uh, not kits, these fun little patterns and stands and all of these wonderful things. So you can make all of these tiny, fantastic, I'm running out of words. Um, Snaztacular, <laughs> wondrous, amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can make all of these really, really, really cool little things, and you can sell them because they sell like little hotcakes. Yes, they and do. It comes and they're with a firing schedule, so so you okay. can melt them darn flat, and it'll look fantastic, just like Doki's. Okay. Okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I was waiting for that to wind down there for a second. <laughs> All right, give me a sec to catch my breath. <laughs> okay, so um, these are fun because you now you have multiple elements, right? You have um, flowers, you have leaves, and you have birds. So we can start putting those things together. Um, and you can see I do have one over here that has a flower, leaves, and a bird, which is Ooh, it's, awesome. It's a little garden scene. It's quite cute. It is a little garden scene. So let's... Talk about other things you can do with these little stands because they really are. Okay, if you go too slow, your drill bit's going to smoke. We found this out take, earlier. Right, so you just, okay. You get, that maple gets really hot. Okay, go so first, we can use them for... What can we use them for, Jody? We can use them for artwork, for little artworks. Ooh. We can use them for, um, and then we can use those little artworks, right? <laughs> We can use them for um, thank you gifts for collectors, like as a thank you for buying on my things all year long. Here's, here's a little gift I made for you. You can use them for coworkers. You can use for oh, like happy birthday, Marsha. Yay! Here's happy a little birthday. present for your desk, right? Right, little chickens. <laughs> right, a little present for your desk, which is just nicer than a cupcake. I mean, I well, like maybe cupcakes. maybe it's not nicer than a cupcake, but you know what I mean. So you can use them for coworkers. You can um, use them for teachers. You can use them for mm, visitors. You can give them to hostesses as a hostess gift. Thank you for inviting me to your dinner party. party. Thanks for hosting the book club. There's uh, you can give them out at baby showers. Let me show you. <laughs> So, congrats oh, on having the children have some chickens. We're going <laughs> to we'll put a flower on this one and then we'll Y'all start talking hey, that's, about. That's the This is your realism flower. Realism using right? that term. But of. you can see that this little hardwood stand is is um it's holding it all of that right. really well. It is because it's a good nice solid piece of wood. So, Aww, we're going to let that so do cute. its thing right there. Um so let's do another chicken. Well, I want to do, um, well, okay, we can do another chicken. I like chickens. We can, can do, you tell I like chickens? <laughs> right? Chickens are popular around here. Shahar is a chicken fanatic, too. Yay, chickens. Pretty diddly dang awesome. Oh, look, that's a little spirally one. It is a little spirally like one. Chicken, that's a leaf, not a chicken. <laughs> no, it's a leaf, <laughs> not a chicken. Oh. Can you, I see the schooling is going well. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> she knows what a chicken is. <laughs> High Bang. school. High school is just an awesome time. <laughs> You're so mean. I know. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about some of the other things that we can use these stands for because they are really cool. Um, so I have made um, some, just some square pieces and they're squares with wires fused in them. These ones have some mica circles. We've done this in a previous um, show too. I think this was the Christmas Village part two. Oh yes, when we did, did the, the sleigh, we showed mm -hmm. how to fuse mica shapes right here. No, we did it with your... the house too. Oh, we did, right? With the windows, with and, the the windows and the doors. And it's really cute. Right? So, 
you can then use these to make Ooh. the cutest um, business card holders. Oh, so, that's mighty clever. Right? We're going to trim these off a little shorter because I want them to be right snug on the bottom of the... Oh, <laughs> no throwing, no throwing things. Okay. And we do need to now, we can do this on any of our, well, probably the square stands would work better, but you could make it work if you insisted on the. Right, if you really want the rustic one, then you do you. <laughs> right. Send me pictures of how it goes, just by the way. Yeah, I'm, let us know. <laughs> right, I, we love seeing your finished products when you use our kits, because it's really interesting. It is fun, and we're always impressed by Yes. The creativity. <laughs> so cool. We think we're being very creative, but then we see what you guys make and we and go, we're like, oh, that's really cool. Right? Yeah, we need to up our game. Okay, so I am going to drill carefully. Carefully, carefully. Four holes in here. That one may not be quite deep enough. We'll see if I can get that stuck. Oh. <laughs> Hey now. Karen says, love that you give us different ideas for using the stands. Yeah. Well, and you could, I love these little guys. I started making them and then I got so many ideas. Okay. <laughs> That's how it always is. It's though, how it, it always is, right? Uh, okay. Karen says, how much Oop. would you sell these for? Like the. Um, oh, that's a good question. Let me drill this one. I can only do one thing at a time. I've discovered my attention span. <laughs> right, processing. <laughs> okay, so now oh, so we have cool. something that we can put our business cards in right at a show. Ta-da! Boing! I, oh, wait, look. Ha-ha-ha. No, 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 no. Okay, but I'm just saying. Um, okay, so... How much would we sell these for? That's a very good question. I would sell a single, like one of these guys. <laughs> I would sell um, for less than $10. So probably like a six to eight, depending on if it had beads and things on it also. This little guy would be probably more like a nine or 10. The two chicken? The two chicken. And again, depending on if, you know, if you take that extra time and put beads on its leg wires, then you can increase the price mm -hmm. fairly mm -hmm. significantly because it um, presents a much richer appearance. Like it's, a, it's visually a much prettier thing. And again, also, if you do, and we'll do, I'll, we'll do a, an example here. Okay, so we could take our little chicken who is adorable, and we all know he's adorable, right? But he's, he's so cute. And then if we do just a... Twisty turvy with the... Right, but if we just do this oh. and see if we can get him to stand up. Oh my goodness. Right? <laughs> but when you put something like this... Okay, <laughs> but... Right, but compare now. <laughs> this guy so to this guy right and it becomes you see just by adding that stand to it you've added one <laughs> you've leveled it up one and then when you it's add adorable. like beads or if you paint the stand or something then you level it up again Did so I do level up? and then something like this that has a flower a bird and a leaf i would probably do in the 15 to 18 dollar range mm -hmm. um and i business these, card holder Business card holder, they, business card holders send to t tend to sell well in the $18 range. Um, it's one of those things like soap dishes that people have a preconceived value of how much it's gonna be. And it's, it's right, I find that it's right under that $20 limit for that. Okay, um, speaking of, don't make soap dishes with these. They would be very small soap dishes, but you could do it with well, the. If you, you could do it with the eco resin one. Yep. For sure. Okay. <laughs> so let's look. Are, am I allowed? To, is it is it my turn now? Can I? I suppose. May I go on? Okay. So, the other thing that I love these little stands for is um, to use as signage or 
and you know I'm a huge display person. We've done classes and classes about displays. <laughs> so um, this is just two glass rectangles that I fused wire into. And if you add it to a little stand like this, particularly if you go, if you um, do a lot of shows where you change your um, product mix, right? Like some shows you might have, I don't know what, you might have buttons, and some shows you might have beads, and some shows you might have cufflinks, or, you know, if you needed it to say, we take credit cards, or my right. kid is for sale, or something like that. I, what, what <laughs> All right, so no, no, you, you, can, <laughs> you can add this little guy here. You can give him a little bit of an angle, and then you can write on this. If you etch it, you can write on it with chalk, but you can write on it with a chalkboard marker, or if you do like an opaque white, you can write on it with a dry erase marker, and it will wipe right off, and it's all of a sudden it's signage wow. for your display, right? Or it's name badges. Or it's name badges, right? Woo. You can, so this is something that um, I'm gonna test at my next class because I have new students. So Ooh. we might make these little things to put on our table. Oh, um, so you can have little so I name can have, cards. Right, so I can have little name cards. The other thing it's good for, you can do this kind of thing for price tags, for instructions, for, um, titles of artwork. So if, if you have a big sculpture piece, you can put its title, its name, oh, wow. right on there, right? That's have its own so little name. You can use them for <laughs> placeholders, for dinner parties. You can use them for um, name tags. I said that part. You can also use them for things like um, at bridal showers or something if you need to leave gift here or sign in or something like that. It's just a very cute little sign that you could make and use for in a million places. And of course you can just make it um, any color you want and use it that way, which is awesome. And then here. I'm gonna stick these real fast. Okay. Because I can put them over here and they'll look so cute. Because okay. my side of the table is very bare. Well, it's because you haven't been doing anything. <laughs> I've been making interesting <laughs> comments. All right. So I have, um, this is another variation of a a sign slash label that I quite like. I might have to keep this little orange chicken for myself. Kay. It's very cute. It is very cute. So this one is two rectangles of glass and the wires go straight through, right? So it's the same wire, it's right out of the kit. I've just fused those. I figured you guys could figure out how to put two rectangles together, right? And of course, we're using recycled glass here, but you don't have to. You can use any kind of glass you want. In fact, you, you don't have to use glass at all. You can use mosaics oh, if you wish. You can you make could, all sorts of chickens out of all sorts of things. Right. You could use. You could do ceramic things. You could oh, do. Oh, If you make um, a, please, please make a tiny ceramic chicken and display it on <laughs> one of these stands. Because well, we could do that. You could do that. I. Mm-hmm. I'm not good with ceramics. Okay, so. Bree says, Jody, dinner place name cards. Isn't that right? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and um, especially if you use like a chalk marker or a dry erase marker, you can reuse <laughs> them. Sorry, or, sorry. Okay, or you can uh, give them to people at the end of the night, right? They could take them home. Okay. So this guy, so we have these wires that stick up, but wait. There's more. There is more. So if you, and what we're doing here is we're creating this spiral. Twisty turvy. Twisty thing. Spoof. And what we're really kind of aiming for is. Is this an earring stand? Well, no, but it, I mean, it, it, it potentially could be. could be. We're gonna do one of those too. Ooh. But if, you, where's our business card? Okay. <laughs> so, 
So what oh. this is, we've, what we've done is we've made essentially like little paper clip thingies here, right? Yeah, look at that. So then. Aren't you clever? You can have, you can do like a little bit more custom signage for things or you can, can I do. Can <laughs> Oh yeah, I didn't glue it. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me just throw it at you. Can I have the Sharpie real fast? Oh sure. Can I borrow that? Give me a minute. This is going very well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I? No. Okay. At least I do what I'm told, right? <laughs> there is that. So I have a couple of variations on this <laughs> design. <laughs> At least I do what I'm told, as you promptly not. <laughs> All right, what you got? What does this say? Here, let, let's see if we can. Oh, oh there you go, Real right? Schnazzy. Look at look, look at how at that. that. Now we have a logo. <gasps> yes! Yay! Yay! It and says hourglass. Speaking of you not doing what you're told, <laughs> Jan says, Jody, be careful what you say to Logan. She might give you away as a bonus. <laughs> Speaking of, folks, we have a new giveaway. No, we do not have a giveaway. Okay. It's Jody herself this time. Right. For adoption. So we have, it's the mom recipe. She, she requires uh, daily feeding. And coffee. All right. And coffee. So mm -hmm. I have a couple of variations on the theme of this guy here. This one is just two squares of glass um, fused together with two wires. And then it oh, does awesome. have a little mica star on the front. Oh, right, isn't that cute? Yeah, speaking of, watch our Mica Madness episode. And may I have my permanent marker back? Come on. <laughs> permanent marker of indeterminate uh, <laughs> Right. Okay. And you see, I'm, I'm actually marking the stand after I fuse the glass, just in case things move a little bit, because mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. don't. Good plan. Right. I always forget um, what I like put in the kiln. So after I painted these things, Jody here was like, oh, come look at your things. And I was like, I, I made I, those. I, I forgot <laughs> what I did. What was I doing? Right. So if you're like me, then yeah, that's a good plan. It's always a surprise when you open the kiln. It's like a nice It is. It's kind of present. fun though. So this is your earring stand right here. Oh, there so, you go. Right. So here we go. And you can add beads to these or not. Or what I like to do also is you can paint them it with... It looks like a, a little alien. It does look like a little alien. You can paint these wires with an um, oil-based paint marker. Or you could even, if you wanted them to be shiny, you could sand them, of course, but you can paint them with a um, little oil-based paint marker. Ooh, speaking and of, that is with the 18-gauge wire, which you get 10 right. feet in your fancy, fancy, fancy kit. Woo! Right there. <laughs> this one needs to be a hair shorter. Okay. Hmm. And this is with the maple stand. I'm using the maple stand because it's the heaviest and it has its, well, it's not the heaviest. It's anyway. The it's like it's a good solid one, right? It's a good solid one. Most compacted, maybe. So you can hang your earrings right on that, which is very cool. I right? don't have any earrings, otherwise I would. I don't have any earrings on either. Okay, but wait, <gasps> there's more. There's the single version, which is not for an earring. Okay. Yep. Right. So this one. What I actually visualized for this one is as a photo holder, right? Like those, have you seen this, the little photo holders oh, that you- Oh, I have some of those. Right, yeah. And you can of course make your, I like spirals, but you can make <laughs> your wire any shape you wish. If you, want, if you like hearts better, you can make, you can make hearts. hearts. Or you can even make another little like star at the top there. Wouldn't that be fun? And then this guy. Speaking and of, I'm sure some of you have noticed me making sound effects. <laughs> in this kit, that, which you have 12 of each flavor of stand, as well as some wire, some drill bits, I also personally scream sound effects into the box so that <laughs> you have the full experience while you make these of me distantly in the past making <laughs> sound effects, such as 
<laughs> and wow. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. <laughs> <So> <laughs> okay, so how many ideas have we come up with for these stands so far? A million. Quite a few, for yep. sure, right? Okay, so here's our, and here's this right there. Wow, look at okay. all these amazing. All magical. right. Let's I love these little alien looking ones. Aren't they fun though? But you could do like a whole custom display right. uh, for jewelry. Of, and I you just, really could put a necklace on here too if you wanted right. the pendant I just, to hang. I really, please, some of, one of you that is amazing <laughs> and creative, can you please just make a little alien with this little antenna? Oh, you, would, we could probably do that. I know we could, but I want to see what other people what do. What other people do. Fair because enough. Because they do cool things too. Yes, they do. Okay, so we've done now so many things. Okay, um, we have done chickens, flowers. We've done art. We've, we've done, done art. signs. We've done displays. We've done business card holders. We've done gift tags. Uh, we have put previous artworks on here. We made new artworks together. Um, right? What else? So many things. So many things. Um, and I made some stars, and so I was going to do a multiple star little stand also. Starry stand? Starry stand, right. So the other thing that you can do with these, and I don't know if anybody else does this or not, but sometimes we come up with, like, fake awards, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> Or you, yeah. you win the award for uh, putting your pants on today or something like that. It's a great award you should get. It is people. a great award. And so you can make little things like that. And I don't know if you would call them like, um, I, I wouldn't quite go with gag gift, but it is a little bit, right? Because it's just kind of a... Right, it's silly. Yeah, it's a silly thing that we do. Right, and we do a lot of this for like our um, ladies, ladies uh, dinner club birthdays and things like that, right? And so we we make these funny little these funny little awards for people. Mm -hmm. And what we would do oh is. Um, do that. Right, we would do this, and then what we do is just we would print a sticker and put it on the front of that stand right there. <laughs> or you could use a or, very fine gold pen. Yes, or like, if you were really tricky and wanted can, to do Can like, I write in a word name on it? Uh huh. Uh, you could do a, like a little name on the front or whatever. Uh, they're not glued in, I didn't glue them in, so. I know, I was okay. watching. All right. And this is just a, also a fun, like, happy birthday, you're a star kind of thing, coworker gift. You're my coworker. You're a star. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the most snazzy chicken award. Woohoo! Awesome. So, if you have any snazzy little chickens, you can write most snazzy chicken on it. Or. Something, something. <laughs> something therein. That guy's right. stuck. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Put him in the herd of things. Right. Okay. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Um, we're we're about out of projects to stick on stands here. Not quite, but getting really close. Right. Let's try gluing some eco resin together. I didn't bring that kind of glue. <sighs> Sorry. It was a good question. <laughs> wow, the drama. <laughs> the, I'll, I'll just expect? be over here doing my thing. Would you like me to fall at your feet and no. weep? <laughs> I would like you to tell us what's in the kit one more time. All righty. Well, I'm it's really a pretty cool. stiddly dang snazzy kit for all of you who have not been here. So we have 12 of these blue eco resin square so you can make some nice lightweight stands that are still very sturdy and blue. 12 of these thick reclaimed maple wood chunks that smoke if you uh, if, well, well, slowly. <laughs> okay. They're very pretty. They smell nice. 
uh, made from a futon. And then we have 12 rustic flavored um, branch slices, fresh from a branch. We harvested them itself, ourselves. And then 10 feet of 18 gauge nichrome wire, nice, thick, and ready for you to make chickens. Three fantastic tiny drill bits. The patterns for flowers, chickens, leaves, so you can make some chickens to send to me. I love chickens. And then the fusing schedules for uh, recycled glass. So there you go, folks. You can make all sorts of chickens. Chickens, so many chickens. There's 36 of these little, th 36 tiny stand, nah, stand bases in total, which is pretty diddly dang snazzy. <laughs> I'm gonna put the most nasty chicken okay. over here. Okay, so I was just thinking. Oh, were you? Always yes. Always a dangerous thing. I know, so if we have 36 stands, and if we just make. 36 chickens. 36, or 36, 36 of whatever we're gonna sell. If we only sell them for $5 each, for 36 of them, that's still $180. Wow. So, and the stands, so that kit is only 49, so that's. That's You're making cool. revenue. That is a pretty cool thing. That it's a good. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to uh, go home and make some chickens. Some chickens, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I'm gonna put these stars on this eco resin. That's a that's a good deal. That is a pretty diddly dang good right? deal. Right. And then of course, if you were to make other bigger things, large boys. Yeah, but that's that's awesome. And it is awesome. Okay. Stars, so many stars. Right, and we're gonna do this, we're gonna do another little award star thing here. Our uh, hourglass is out. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> thank you for being here with us today. You're a star. <laughs> this one is for you. <laughs> thank Woo! you for being with us. Right, happy new year all. It's our first uh, 2019 episode. Yay us. 2019 still sounds like fantasy, but here we are. <laughs> here we are. We are. Okay. So, any last words? <sighs> I take that as a no. <laughs> no, I'm going to faint sadly onto my fainting couch. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us uh, once more on the Hourglass with Jody and me, Logan. <laughs> Hello, it's me. <laughs> Okay, so, so we'll be back in. We'll be back in two weeks. Two weeks from today. And we are making. Ooh, what are we making, Jody? I can't remember. We have a super exciting show lined up. In fact, I have four or five super exciting shows lined up. That's why I can't remember what order they're in. We have so many. So check back, and we will be. We'll, we'll be back with several next time. fun. Whoop, <laughs> my stars are Glorious. trying to escape, right? And you okay. are wonderful viewers. You win the most snazzy chicken award. <laughs> All right, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>